back guys today we're gonna do a vlog on adaptive equipment that daily living aids such as that um there's a lot of daily living aids that i used to use however i don't use them anymore because i'm bad at being lazy i'm a lazy handicapped person i could do more um, we gotta get me back into therapy to get that rolling. I, I wanted to talk about the several different types of mo you know, not mobility aids, um, adaptive equipment aids. Um, there's probably gonna be about five I talk about, so if I'm not keeping track, someone keep track for me. No, just kidding. Um, but you know some some different mobility aids are or not mobility aids assistive equipment i don't know why i'm calling them adapt or mobility aids mobility aids are like your wheelchairs your walkers your crutches your your thing things like that um but your assistive equipment would be I was looking online the other day for a bag that would go on my wheelchair, like almost like a book bag, so we didn't have to carry um, because both are. I don't know why every time I start a vlog I start yawning, but um, I was looking online to find a bag that would actually hook to my wheelchair, so we didn't have to carry grocery bags because. Both of our diaper bags broke. So now we just, you know, kind of just throw everything in the grocery bag and get on our way. But what I was going to talk about was when I was looking online for a wheelchair bag, I came across this adaptive equipment store. And they have everything from spoons with, with a chunky handle that velcros to your hand to help you use a spoon better. I, however, can use a regular spoon and pretty much be okay. Um, but there was one thing I was kind of gonna, ooh, that scared me. That was my, um, lighting. Hold on just one second. Bear with me, guys. I'm a hot mess tonight. Um, but what I was going to tell you was I found this bowl that had a side that kind of came up. Not like it, it was a regular bowl, but with like a side that kind of came up. Because I know when I'm using a regular plate or a bowl and I'm trying to scoop something off the plate, I end up chasing it around for a while to get it on the spoon. So this had actually had like, it was a regular bowl with like a lip that you could push your food into to help you get it on the spoon and your food wouldn't go everywhere. Um, so I was looking into that and it also had a suction cup to stay on the tray better. As well as, um, you know, there were just a number of things. Button hooks, which is something I used to use when I was younger, uh, in therapy, they were teaching me how to button up my clothes. It just helps with those that don't have... Don't have a lot of finger dexterity to button up their clothes better. Um, I have a so I don't know what to call it, a sock. Let's, don't take this as a technical term, please don't. But I used to call it my sock putter honor, so we'll call it my sock putter honor for now. It's basically a cloth thing with straps on it. You put a sock on it, you set at the edge of your bed, you put it on your foot, and as you pull it up with those straps, your sock becomes on your foot um i did have one of those when i was in rehab learning how to do stuff for myself at the age of 
Hmm. I, I don't know. I was probably 16 or 16 or 17. Because my boyfriend, now husband, came up to see me and I came back from a therapy session and him and our friend had my sock put her on her. One had a blanket tied around him. The other had the sock put her on her on his head. So yes. There is, I don't know what it's called, but it does help you put on your socks. There's gate belts. They put that around you to help you stand. It's easier on your caregiver's back. Um, it also helps you stay upright. Stay upright for um, when you're standing and it kind of it helps take some pressure off your knees as well. Um, there was a special sponge I had that was on a long handle. Um, I had a splint for one of my hands when I was younger. My right hand ended up where it's so atrophied that to straighten that out and be able to use it so it wasn't so atrophied, they splinted. And I had to wear that splint during the day. There's just a lot of assistive equipment that you can get. Reachers, uh, I don't know if you know what those are. They're like alligator, um, alligator, like, it has like a mouth on it almost and like two suction cups and it reaches stuff off the floor for you to be able to um, say, for example, do laundry, pick up something that you dropped, um, or, or, you know, something like, that. I'll move this out of my daughter's face, she's asleep, something like that. So, um, I did have one of those, but sadly my wheelchair mangled it as I ran over it. I am known for going full speed in my wheelchairs, and not really um, if I run over something it, it, it's probably just my carelessness I guess so a couple of those you could get or again button hooks reachers sock putter honors um, a sponge on stick um, and we got one more to go, guys. I'm trying to think here. Splints, I talked about. Um, and of course, a lot of your, uh, there's, um, like, speech aids, like, a board that'll help people speak if they need it. There's hearing aids. There is all kinds of stuff for CP out there for the people that are worse off than I am. I thank God I'm not that bad. Um, I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. You know what I mean. So the five mobility or assistive equipment that I pointed out there, I'm going to get pictures of and put... Uh, Put at the end of the slide at the end of this video and um, I'll see you guys in the next video stay beautiful bye